vast amount of username and password we have to remember daily, it is quite hard to keep track of everything in a single local notebook. So by integrating Dayon Spell Metric Authentication API with Oracle's um, Identity Cloud Services, we're making this process to be faster, easier, and more secure. So today, I'm going to demonstrate how Oracle's Identity Cloud Services can be accessed as a service provider to allow biometric authentication for users. So if you do not know about Oracle's Identity Cloud Services, it is also known as IDCS. It is a centralized key store that can be accessed as a service provider and uh, identity provider. Identity provider means that you are able to use IDCS credentials to log into third-party application or website, such as LinkedIn.com, Amazon Web Service, or Salesforce.com. Imagine there is an end user. She's trying to access a website called SQLs.com via IDCS. It can be any website or application that allows IDCS to log in. And then she chooses Dayon as an identity provider. Then Dayon sends a SAML request to custom login application. The user input the email address to make sure that is equal in both IDCS and Dayon's database. It also triggers a post request, send it to my phone. At the same time, the custom login is continually sending a GET request to check if the user is authenticated or not. After the user is authenticated on mobile end, the application sends the same request back to IDCS, and then we verify the user as logged in in sequence.com. By allowing Dayon as our identity provider, the user is able to log into IDCS in a more convenient way. It includes voice recognition, facial recognition, and the fingerprint. So for example, you are going to sign into sequence.com. That's my sequence.com page, as you can see here. And then we allow IDCS as an identity provider here. You click Login with Identity Cloud Services. And then that is the IDCS page. As you can see from the right-hand side, we have a bunch of identity providers. We click Dayon. On that page, you are required to enter your username, which is the email address, because we want to make sure this email address exists in both Dayon's database as well as in IDCS. Click Login. And now we are paying uh, Dayon services every five seconds to make sure the user is authenticated. And then right now, I'm going to use my phone to authenticate. So as you can see on my screen, there is an authentication request test. We'll click through it. Click the authentication test. Next. So firstly, I'll speak a wrong sentence. My identity is secure. Verify me. It is wrong. And try it again. My identity is secure because my voice is my passport. Verify me. And then we go back to the sequence.com where successful login. So as you can see here, I'm successful logging to sequence.com. So in this demo, I showed you how Oracle can leverage their own biometric authentication to authenticate the user. If you are interested in learning more about how Oracle's IDCS can protect your website via advanced biometric authentication, or relieving the pain for memorizing tons of credentials, such as website, username, and password, feel free to sign up for a free trial at cloudoracle.com. <laughs>